What's up Fit Fam? It's Andrew Clark here with another Therapy Thursday. Last week we covered exercises for shoulder, uh, reducing that likelihood of shoulder impingement. Today is going to be all about plantar fasciitis. Now, I know a few of you have uh, kind of been going through some of the symptoms or you've been asking about it. So uh, plantar fasciitis, it can occur for many reasons. You might have uh, poor footwear, you've got uh, maybe a over pronated foot or a flat foot like I do. Um, you might have changed surfaces in running, you went from outdoor to you know, running on a treadmill or vice versa, or you just got really uneven surfaces. You might have a really tight calf. All these things kind of contribute and kind of play off each other. And what they do is they tighten up the, the arches on the bottom of the foot and then you get that nasty pain, especially with the first few steps in the morning. Kind of feels good once you get warm up. So what we're going to talk to you about today is uh, a couple ways of treating it and also a couple ways of preventing it. So. Step number one, if you do have that plantar fasciitis, a good tip that I like doing is if you've got a water bottle, uh, not something like this, but like one of those uh, plastic ones you can get from Superstore, what I would suggest is just freezing it and then in the morning, taking that, that water bottle and kind of just rolling through that arch, getting some of that ice and getting some of that pressure just to kind of relieve some of that arch, some of that arch stiffness. Okay, or if you're at work, bring something like a golf ball at home and just kind of, or um, at the office there. And then while you're sitting at the desk, just kind of use that golf ball and just also rolling through that arch. Okay, you're gonna find some tender spots in there, uh, but ultimately we wanna reduce some of that stiffness. Okay, um, next we're gonna do is three stretches to help prevent this happening, or three stretches if you currently have it, just to kind of help relieve some of those symptoms. So stretch number one, Cross that leg over. This is just to help stretch that arch. You kind of want to draw your heel forward. You're going to use that one hand. You're just going to apply a little bit of pressure to your uh, your toes there, and you're going to bend them backwards. You're going to feel that nice stretch in through the arch, especially if that's nice and tight. That's really going to jump out you. And then I would hold that for about 30 seconds. Okay. Uh, stretch number two and three is just a standard calf stretch and soleus stretch. Um, so what you want to do, this is a nice easy one you can do kind of anywhere, you know, at home, at work, anywhere you are. Uh, we're stretching that back leg, so what you want to do is you want to try and keep that heel down, okay, and you're just going to lunge towards the wall, maintaining that nice heel on the ground until you feel that stretch. Shouldn't be painful, should feel like a nice muscle melt, and again, you're going to hold this for about 30 seconds. After that 30 seconds, to get a little bit deeper into that soleus, all you're going to do is you're just going to bend that back knee, still maintaining that heel on the ground as well. And again, I'd hold that for 30 seconds. Now, guys, I would um, I'd get pretty religious with that kind of stretching if you are indeed going through some of that plantar fasciitis. Uh, but if doing the stretches, doing the rolling is not uh, getting rid of your pain, or if it's getting worse, then I would consider, okay, maybe something else is going on. Maybe we gotta think of something like orthotics or changing up those shoes. Uh, or you can speak to me about uh, maybe some of the cause, uh, including the um, change in uneven surfaces and running. And then next week, we're gonna get into some exercises to help bring up that arch and help prevent this from happening to you. Therapy Thursday, we'll catch you again. See you, Fit Fam.